Hello, today I'm going to talk you through the Prayer Mate app and how to use it to help you to pray. Uh, Prayer Mate is first and foremost an app to help with your regular, consistent intercessions for yourself, for those you love and for God's world. Uh, it's based around the concept of lists. Um, a list, if you like, re could represent uh, a different area of responsibility in your life, perhaps your own walk with God, uh, your family, your church. Uh, and those around you. Uh, we give you some default lists when you first install the app, uh, but you can easily add new ones at any time by saying add new list. Um, perhaps a good one would be uh, to add a list for your neighbours. A list uh, starts off empty, but you can add anything using the plus button at the bottom. You can either uh, add things one by one, perhaps a neighbour, uh, add Jemima, uh, so it's added it, uh, by default it just shows a name but we probably want to add a photo, so let's, let's press the cog button and add new photo. <laughs> don't have any people at the moment but I'll just add some pretty flowers. Uh, it's also not very inspiring just to see a, a blank page so prayer make can give you a, a, a whole bunch of uh, suggestions for how to pray so let's add something else to pray. I could either add a blank card um, or we've got some downloadable prayer packs or some scripture prayers and promises uh, if you had like a an email prayer letter perhaps in a PDF you could also attach those but let's start with a downloadable prayer pack um, uh, we've got all sorts of categories you can choose from uh, perhaps if they're a family member family life is useful or people from your church uh, but I'm going to start with let's assume my neighbor is not a Christian I'm going to go to evangelism and youth work and uh, we've got a, a great bunch here I'm going to go for 11 prayers for your friends to know Christ uh, you can read them here to see what you think but if you want them press the download button uh, and there you go it's added it to Jemima's page so that when I come to pray for her uh, I'll get a different one of these 11 prayer requests each time uh, if we go back to, to our lists perhaps my family uh, you can also, when you go to add, rather than adding them one at a time, perhaps you might want to enter a list of names or or pick a whole bunch of people from your address book. I'm going to go and enter some names here in my family. Uh, uh, I've already added Elizabeth, hadn't I? Let's add, um, let's add Bob and uh, Melissa. There you go, it's added them there. And again, you can tap in to to add a photo or I can add something else to pray. I can also use this little plus button here and, and I'm going to add a blank card. I'm going to type please pray for Bob's health. When you've added uh, things to pray you can also tap in and press the, the trash can icon here to, to delete it if you want to at a later stage or to edit the text. Um, as well as uh, adding people and, and things like that, uh, when I go to a list like uh, my walk with God, for example, uh, we might also want to pick um, uh, various prayer feeds we've got. So, uh, for example, under biblical prayers and devotions, uh, we've got some, some devotional feeds here like praying the Bible. That will give me uh, one psalm every day. I can say subscribe to this feed and say uh, which list I want to add it to, my walk with God. Uh, and then when I pray for it, here we go, this is the, the, the psalm for today, Psalm 139. Uh, we've also got some great um, prayers uh, from all sorts of organisations under categories like world mission and bible translation or or the persecuted church uh, let's go to, to world mission and today i might uh, find prayers from all sorts of organizations let's 
look at London City Mission today, and again I can subscribe to this feed, put it on the world my world mission list. Uh, they have a prayer point for uh, every day of of the month. Uh, now, once you've added your uh, your lists and your subjects, the next thing is is just to then to come and pray. So every day when I open the app, uh, I swipe left. Uh, I've got all sorts of things I could pray for, but today it's selected just five. Or if I've got a bit more time, I could ask for a few extra items. Or if I've got less time, ask for less. Let's start with five. It's probably a good place to start. Um, it's picked for me a, a, a Lent devotional feed, 40 acts. It's picked something about my walk with God, uh, some people to pray for, and, and a feed for the persecuted church. So let's um, swipe to get started. Here's today's 40 Acts entry. Uh, as you swipe past, it records the fact that you've prayed for it, uh, and then uh, that means next time I'll, I'll be given something else to pray. So here's something to help me grow more like Jesus. Pray that I'll be filled with the knowledge of God's will from Colossians chapter 1 um, pray for Elizabeth again as I pray it might be that I, I feel like I, I I want something else to pray specific so again I might I might add a downloadable prayer but let's try adding a scripture prayer uh, or promise to this it's taken from a book called take words with you uh, it's like a database of, of prayers it, it, it comes with in two categories promises and prayers let's start with a promise uh, this is, uh, also, there's all sorts of categories here. Let's say, um, you know, my family member, uh, yeah, I know that that uh, she needs guidance at the moment, promises to give guidance. So let's download some of those, prayer pack downloaded, and then it will also offer to show me the related prayers. So let's say yes and have those as well. So again, now, now when I come to pray for Elizabeth, I get I get a promise and a prayer related to guidance to help me pray for her. Sharing my faith is it's one of my neighbours. Um, again, I'm going to add a downloadable prayer pack. Uh, uh, it's because it's one of the default lists. It's actually able to recommend content for sharing my faith straight up. Um, I'm going to add a prayer for boldness because I'm a bit of a coward when it comes to sharing my faith. Uh, so now when I pray for Tommy, I, I get prompted to, to pray for my own boldness. Um, if you've added multiple uh, multiple cards to something, I'm, let's, let's show you this. Let's say I've added uh, greater opportunities. I can press and hold on a on a card at least on iOS I can and I can really change the order of them there you go so I've prayed through this is the final slide just to say now may the peace of God which now may the peace of God which surpasses all understanding guard your heart and mind in Christ Jesus um, that means I finished my prayers I can now close the app uh, and uh, next time when I come back uh, it will it will take me uh, to this page. So I can either ask for some new subjects or I can pray the same subjects again. By default, I'll get the same prayers all day uh, until I uh, tap this this text here to reset. Uh, or when I come back tomorrow, it will automatically reset as well and give me the next set of prayers. So that's the most basic functionality. Add the things you want to pray for and then come back day by day and, and pray for them and over time it will make sure you pray through everybody. Uh, there are all sorts of uh, 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 more sophisticated features when I come to pray for someone I can tap the cog button up here and go to subject settings. Subject settings will let me change the um, the priority if I want to pray for it more often, less often or, or in fact every time. Uh, it's set to normal for now. You can also change the scheduling mode but default is probably the simplest to let prayer mate decide when to share. You can, if you like, set it to appear only on certain days of the week, uh, certain days of the month, or even certain dates. We don't recommend this as uh, it, it makes it harder for prayer mate to, to, to help you get through all your different uh, prayer points, but, um, but you can do it if you prefer. We can also have an auto archive date if it's a, uh, a sort of short term thing that you want to pray for 
until a certain date and it can it can be archived and we show some statistics as to how many times you've prayed for this person and when you last prayed um we can also uh, if you are slightly techy and, and confident in those things you can enable markdown for um things like bold and headings and bullet points and so on uh, you can also uh, uh, use the cog button to, to delete a subject or move it to the archive if you want to uh, still keep it around. Uh, the archive is accessible from the lists page at the bottom of my lists. There are some special lists for uh, things you've recently prayed for or, or the archive there. Um, you can also, uh, on a, an individual list level, you can here set uh, list settings. Here you can um, attach a default photo to the list uh, or enable the setting to always pray for this list and you can choose how many, all of them, in fact even none of them if you want it to not appear in prayer sessions. Um, I use this on a couple of key lists like my own walk with God uh, and my family uh, but you don't want to overuse it otherwise uh, again it, it limits prayer mate's ability to help you pray through everything. Um, lists are always prayed through in order um, from start to finish. Uh, you can change the order of your lists using this button here on, on, on my lists uh, and then drag them into a different order. Another feature you might want to, to try out at some point, uh, particularly if you're uh, at home and uh, can't meet with your church family uh, for some reason, then uh, uh, the groups tab lets you create a group uh, you can either uh, well primarily we encourage uh, churches to, to manage groups and uh, a church can sign up on our website and then uh, individual groups can use the functionality free of charge or if you prefer you can create a personal group um, and uh, the person who creates the group will need to become a prayer mate patron uh, which is uh, has a monthly or annual fee associated with it the people joining that group won't need to, to pay and they can join it for free there's also a, a global settings page where you can toggle a few features like uh, the color scheme uh, you can change the font size if your eyesight is uh, struggling or um, you can also here add reminders uh, like an alarm to pray every day let's say I want to pray at 8 a.m. Uh, or I can swipe that row to the left to delete it. Uh, many of our devotional feeds during Lent also uh, come with daily reminders, which if you want, you can disable here. Um, another important feature uh, is the ability to, to sign in. I'm already signed in here, so it says my account. Uh, otherwise, it would say create an online account or sign in. Uh, you can sign in with any Google account or if you're on iOS you can also sign in with email and password. This will automatically sync your data uh, to the cloud and then you can access it from any of your devices by uh, by signing in on the, with the same account there as well. If at any point you get stuck do use the get in touch button to send us an email and we'd uh, love to help you out. Well, I hope that's been helpful um, and I hope and pray that you find prayer mate a, a great tool to help you be consistent and faithful in prayer. Bye bye.